Hey, how's it going guys? It's Pillow again. Welcome back to my channel. Good to see you guys again. Please like, dislike, and subscribe. And as always, I will try to respond to all the comments. So today I'm serving around on TikTok again. And I came across Varley or Varlicious. <laughs> So she is this TikTok star that has over 923,000 followers, which is quite a bit on TikTok. So let's help her out by trying to get her over 1 million followers, guys. So smash that follow button, guys. Smash it. Just smash it, guys. <laughs> and what really caught my attention was that she also has a hate page dedicated to her, and it's got over 7,000 followers and a surprisingly 69 videos. So I click into it and seems like just a bunch of her original videos that people didn't like so the first thing that came to my mind is probably racism I myself experienced racism quite often just recently I experienced severe racism at my corporate job and all I can say is when you're Asian any little mistakes you make will cost you most of my coworkers were Caucasians and it seems like it was okay for them to come into work drunk or hungover every day without any repercussions at all anyways this video is not about my story it's about Varley so I really don't understand why there is so much hate against her. So I decided to ask my best friend Google. And I found this website called Playtick. Dot com and Brandy Rose asked the same question asked me why do people hate her so much it seems like he actually likes her but also at the same time he posts this confusing video you know what you're so famous <laughs> I know that I hate is gonna hate <laughs> It's like a little kid confused about his own sexuality. Am I actually a girl or am I actually a boy? Is it time to come out of the closet or do I want to stay in there for the rest of my life? I really don't understand if he's genuinely trying to support her or trying to make fun of her. Let's check out a comment guys. Skylar and Ava said, I just can't stand her. It's so freaking annoying. And you know, last time I checked guys, this is a free country. If you guys don't like somebody's video, you guys really don't have to watch their stuff. Like nobody is forcing your eyes open and to watch your content. You know guys, sometimes I really wonder how old are these kids? They have learned so much hate in such a young age. They can't even type a complete sentence without sounding like they're actually 8 years old. What? And Potter said, she's creepy. And Kayleen Chase said, her laugh is the most annoying sound I've ever heard. I mean, if she's still in her 20s, if she looks like your average TikTok star, which most have no talent, and they're only famous for their good looks, and would people still hate her this much? If she looks young and pretty like a teenager? So instead of my normal video where I would just complain about things and make fun of others for the sake of comedy and entertainment, or like my favorite YouTuber. Hey Greg, how's it going? What's up, Greg? As I'm sure you'll remember before, a lot of her TikToks were pretty- No, that actually sounded pretty good when you said generic. Pretty generic, pretty generic, pretty generic. Two days ago, she released a professionally produced five minute long action movie in which she plays a superhero and I can't not talk about it. Oh yeah, Vardy has a new action clip. I totally cannot wait to roast her about it. But since I'm going to be complaining about it and I can't let the audience know what I'm thinking about, or what I'm going to say. Therefore, I have to tell everyone I'm a changed person from this minute on. And I promise I will not say anything bad about this video while talking shit about it. Kids, I'm about to blow your mind by introducing the power of duality. I am a changed man now, so I'm not gonna give this movie a negative review. I'm not gonna spend the whole time making jokes about it. We're gonna watch this movie in its entirety, and I'm only going to say nice things about it. But wait guys, before I go into making fun of her video, I'm just going to conveniently advertise my website and my upcoming tour so I can make more money for myself while complaining about others video. I am such a genius. I'm doing something called kill two birds with one stone. And this is how you launch the perfect 
marketing campaign. Performing live stand-up, performing live comedy song. We're one minute and 11 seconds into the movie so far and there's been a lot of dialogue and a shocking amount of it has been the same things repeated over and over. And wait guys, remember I just told you guys I am a changed man now? I promise I'm not going to be giving this video a negative review. I promise I am not going to spend the whole time making jokes about it and I am only going to be saying nice things about it. Well anyways, that promise was only good for 1 minute and 11 seconds. I'm back to the old me now, haha. <laughs> and you guys actually believe me for a second. And this is why you guys all deserve to give me your hard earned money and come see me at my tour. Which I'm not saying is a bad thing. Hey, your hair looks like shit today. But hey, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It just looks like shit, but it's definitely not a bad thing. What did you say to me? A-ho! You know, this scene looks kind of cool to me. It sort of reminds me of the scene where when the woman was fed up, she undresses, unveiling her armor, shield, and weapon at the no man's land during World War I. She didn't care about the machine guns or the cannon shells firing at her. I think these two scenes, they share a lot of similarities. It feels empowering and power to the women. And suddenly she's like Black Widow. Or I mean, she's her own original superhero that we've never seen the likes of before. She suddenly has magical superpowers because she looked at a necklace. I mean, do you think Black Widow makes any sense at all in the movie Avengers? I mean, how is her tiny pistol and her bare hands were going to kill any aliens at all? If the movie was even a tiny bit realistic, the aliens were fully dressed in body armors, Black Widow would get squashed like a black fly instead. So Danny Gonzalez was making fun of her videos, which was totally fine with me. But I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm going to talk about how positive her videos are and how she is trying to set a good example and role model. How she is trying to change this ugly world for the better. How she believes in rising by lifting others. You should see me in a crown. I'm gonna run this nothing town. Watch me make them bow one by one by one, one by one by. You should see me in a crown. You saw Did you guys see that? The guy in the back was just like, whoa! Here comes Wonder Woman. I don't want to mess with her. What if she hits me with the lasso of truth? Then I have to confess all my dirty secrets to the world. Well, better stay away from the figure of justice. Nobody can find out I ate my wife's cookie and blamed it on the dog. Or when I crashed her car last summer, I blamed it on the neighbors for stealing it. Don't fear, Volley's here. Their gang is so cool. I really want to be part of them. If you want to be cool, then you should jewel. Come on, Jewel gets you so hyped up. Come on, come on. Jewel, come on. Where's the Jewel? Give me the Jewel. Where do you put it? We don't know. I smell the intention of smoking. <laughs> Somebody cool is right here trying to be cool. Shoot, Varley's here. <laughs> Being cool doesn't mean you have to jewel. Thank you, Barley. I'm sure you guys heard about the kids that were hospitalized. Like this guy was hospitalized for a collapsed lung after smoking jewel. All she was trying to do was let the little kids know, you don't have to smoke jewel or do drugs to be cool. Everybody is cool in their own way. Instead of trying to fit in like most people, just be yourself. Live the life you want to live. Stop caring about what others think about you. They're not you and they don't live for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll tell you how to walk when passing by a bully. Come on. <laughs> See? And here's another empowering video. I think a lot of people have experienced or have seen bullying some point in their lives. 
I have experienced bullying when I was in school too. Although most of the bullies, they turn out to be total losers when they got older. At least in my perspective. Nevertheless, it's not a pleasant experience for anybody. It's totally pointless to bully others just because your parents were probably beating your butt every day and sticking that fist up your nostril. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today. I want to tell all the haters, Varley is actually cool. I think she's really trying to do something positive here. She is leading by being a good role model for all the future adults. I hope you guys like this video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to subscribe guys.